Hey guys, this is Christian with reviews on this and that. <clears throat> Today I'll be showing you how to uh, upgrade or remove and reinstall your memory. Okay, for whatever reason, whether your memory is defective or Windows is giving you a hard time, or you just want to upgrade from 2 gigs to 4 gigs to 8 gigs, whatever the reason is, I will be showing you how to properly and safely do that. Okay. And today we're going to be doing this on the on this uh, beautiful Dell um, Inspiron model number 1525. That's Dell Inspiron 1525 laptop. First, what you need to do is shut down Windows properly. And it's very important that you, uh, before you purchase your memory, you want to see actually what type of memory your computer has. And whether it's DDR1, DDR2, or DDR3, or the new generation of DDR4, which is the fourth generation. It's very important that you purchase and order the proper type of memory because if you don't, your computer will most likely not power up. Okay, so you want to shut down your computer as I was saying earlier. You want to unplug your power cord, any flash drives you have plugged in, any external hard drives, your printers, your scanners basically anything external, you want to go ahead and unplug that. It's much easier to work that way. Okay, and then you want to flip. Your, your laptop upside down you always want to remove your battery it's much safer that way this is the release button on this laptop right here as you push this release button all the way to the right you will hear a, a click it's not a very loud click and then you want to pull on the battery towards you this just snaps right out and then what you want to do this is the actual battery I'm sorry excuse me this is the actual hard drive and um, memory modules compartment so what you will need is basically a small screwdriver this, this is what I personally use and you also you might want to have a something like a guitar pick or something sharp that uh, that's preferably made out of plastic material and not metal okay now I'll explain to you in a minute why you will need something like this basically you want to go ahead and unscrew these screws there's one two three four five six seven there's eight screws right here you want to go ahead and unscrew these Hopefully you guys won't be falling asleep on me here, I'm trying to remove these eight screws. So, but by you upgrading your own memory or RAM as well, um, that's another name for memory. You'll be saving quite a bit of money in your pocket to enjoy in something else. Okay, once you once you have loosened up these screws, you want to grab. <clears throat> I've noticed this this piece is actually broken. This is actually cracked right here. It's no big deal really. You want to pry up on this piece, which basically snaps right out. Oh, I guess I don't loosen this guy right here. You want to remove that out the way. Basically, these are your memory modules right here and I'll uh, see yeah these are your memory modules so what you want to do is see these two metal pins right here they're basically kind of like a like a release tab you want to push away from the memory module so you want to push this one to the right and you want to push this one to the left to release this memory module right here so let's go ahead and do that together and then you will notice how the memory module see how it just basically came it snapped out it just it gets released up automatically and then you want to just basically slide this out okay you want to do the same thing to the second memory module. Same thing. Okay. You want to snap snap this back out. And once you have your new memory, you will notice that these memory modules have one notch. Because on the older type of memory, these sometimes have two notches on the bottom. That's the that's the very old. Uh, it's an older type of memory. It's called SD RAM. But this this type of memory is actually, if you will notice right here. Hopefully you guys can see this. This is a one gigabyte of uh, PC2 memory. See, it says PC2 right here. So, which means this is a DDR2 type of memory. And basically, this other one is basically this laptop has two one gigabyte memory modules, which equals to two gigs of memory, of course. 
So if you were to purchase <clears throat> new memory, you want to make sure these these notches on the bottom of the memory module uh, align, align on the same way what the what, how the motherboard is set up. So basically here's the notch. So here's the notch on the memory module. You want to snap this back in. You want to snap this back in firmly and evenly as well. Okay. Then you just push down on it and you will hear it snap in place. You want to do the same thing with the second memory module. It's very important that you push these in evenly. Oops. There you go. And you want to push down evenly from the center. And you will hear it, you will hear it click back in. And then <clears throat> you want to put the, the this piece back on. Basically it's gonna sort of like snap back on. Just don't be too rough with it. Okay. And one thing you need to know, anytime you replace memory on any computer, whether it's a laptop or a hard drive, excuse me, whether it's a laptop or a desktop or um or a netbook, if you put new memory in your unit and and the power, excuse me, if you put if you put a if you upgrade more memory if you upgrade to if you put a different memory module is what I'm trying to say in your in your unit and the power does not come on that most likely means you did not somehow install the memory properly so you want to open up the compartment again you want to remove the memory and snap it back on most likely that that is your issue I want to say a good ninety five percent of the time and you want to tighten these screws back on. And oops. okay. Hopefully, you guys are not sleeping on me, falling asleep on me here. place you just have to snap it back on firmly and then the screws will go back in place you want to make sure they are all tight you don't want you only want to hand tighten these you don't want to hand over tighten them that's not recommended okay these are tight this one is tight and this one is tight Okay, then you want to snap the battery back on basically the way, same way you removed it by, move this up, basically you align it with the back of the unit, same height, you just basically push forward and it locks back in place. And again, thanks for watching, um, this is Christian with the reviews on this and that, and I just showed you how to, get, how to upgrade your own memory or RAM on your own Dell Inspiron model number 1525. If you guys would like to see similar videos in the future and, and hopefully you guys did you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.